Oogie Boogie. I'll scare your mother. Yes, it's time for Halloween. So now, let's answer a Halloween email. To get a dear to Colbad, what do you think about the Friday the 13th series? I love Friday the 13th. I have all the movies. And I'm going to put them in order from best to worst. So sit back and enjoy Friday the 13th Top 12. <laughs> Warning, this top 12 contains gory scenes, spoilers, and gory spoilers. Viewer discretion is advised. Number 12. Jason goes to hell. Boy, was this movie stupid. I mean, my god, it sucked. First, this is when the new line took over. They changed Friday the 13th from a good suspense and horror movie to how much gore we can show. And that's, that's stupid. What was up with the whole, he had a sense that we never talked about? There's only two things I like from this movie. One, they did what they should have done from the very start. Call the military and kill Jason. And two, the ending, when they're zooming in on a mask and then Freddy Krueger comes and drags him to hell. <laughs> Number 11, Jason X. Now I know what you're thinking. What the crap? This movie sucked. Shouldn't this be at the bottom and Jason Goes to Hell be number 11? Normally, yes. But hear me out. I watched both movies in the same day, but I found that uh, Jason X was way, way more entertaining than Jason Goes to Hell. Everything that was wrong and stupid that with Jason Goes to Hell was fixed in this movie. This movie was less about gore and more about suspense. But even though Jason X is better than Jason Goes to Hell, that's not saying much. That's like saying, this piece of crap is better than this piece of crap. I mean, come on. I'm sorry, I have to say this. Jason in space. That sounds like a freaking joke, but when you learn that it's real, you can't believe it. Now on the cover and the tagline, you see that Jason has become some kind of super Jason. At first, that's awesome. But then you realize, holy crap, New Line made this. Oh, too late. They pulled the Super Shredder on us. Pure crap. Number 10, Friday the 13th, Part 7. I was really hyped to see this movie, but then I was really, really let down. I have the Friday the 13th the Collector's Pack. It comes with a lot of fun facts, like including weapons used. Well, in this one, the first one says telekinesis. Pardon? Really? Telekinesis? So, guess what? Spoiler. This girl kills her dad with her telekinesis, yes, telekinesis, and years later comes back as part of her treatment. She tries to use her telekinesis to bring her father back, but instead brings Jason back. Are you kidding me? The rest of the movie is just like regular Friday movie, but the use of telekinesis just made it retarded. Number 9, Friday the 13th, Part 5. Like with number 10, I was hyped to see this movie. When I originally started collecting the movies, I originally had the Friday the 13th 4-pack, so I didn't have number 5. But you know this movie is going to be bad when the first kill is not even by Jason by some mental patient on some other mental patient. Now in the credits, I saw something weird. They had a 3D version of Jason's mask, but something was different. We all know what his mask looks like. White hockey mask, two flashes under the eye, and a red arrow on top. This one had no red arrow, and the flashes under the eyes were blue. This takes up after part four with the kid, Tommy, now an adult, a crazed adult who is tormented by Jason. Who could blame him? Jason scares the bejeebus out of you. The rest of the movie feels like a regular movie, but the ending gives you a double slap to the face. First, turns out that's not even Jason. The guy who got killed in the beginning of the movie 
That was apparently his deadbeat father, and now he was going around killing people as Jason. And second, Tommy puts on the Jason mask and kills the other survivor. This ending has left you annoyed and confused. <laughs> Number 8, Friday the 13th, Part 6. This movie again picks up with Tommy, finally out of the mental institute, but is still haunted by Jason. He takes one of his friends to a grave to find Jason and cremate him. But when Tommy sees Jason's body, he loses it and stabs him over and over again with a big metal rod. Once he tries to burn him, a lightning blast hits the rod and brings Jason back to life. Tommy tries the entire movie to tell the town folk about Jason, but is stopped and kicked out by the cop of the town. This movie, it's not that bad, but I felt like the other movies were way better than this one. Number 7, Friday the 13th, Part 8. From the title, you'd think this movie is going to be a lame one, but this is a fairly good movie. The others on the list are better, but this one's okay. First, this movie holds the record number for most weapons used and ties for part 5 most kills used. Weapons used, 17, kills, 21. Even though this movie is a slasher killer movie, there are some comedy parts. Like when Jason first gets to Manhattan, he sees a billboard for some hockey player. This hockey player has the same mask as him. The second funny thing is, when he's trying to chase the last of his prey, he knocks over a boombox belonging to a bunch of 80s punks. They threaten to cut him, and Jason turns around and shows him his face. They run away. At the end, Jason is killed by toxic sewer waste. Number 6, Friday the 13th, Part 4. This is one of the better movies. This is where Jason really looks like Jason we all know and are scared of. This is the first of three movies that star Tommy, but here he's just a nerdy kid. In this movie, Tommy tricks Jason by shaving his head and makes him believe that he is Jason when he was a kid. At the end, Tommy kills Jason but sees his head movie, snaps and continually slash and bash him. Now, in my opinion, this is where the series should have ended. I mean, come on, it's in the title. Number 5, Friday the 13th, Part 1. This is what started the whole thing. But there was little things I didn't like about the whole movie. First off, the movie was really, really dated. Even under the fun fact, they said they used the simple rules for a horror movie. Create prior evil, put a bunch of horny teeth together, remove any help from all adults, and kill them off one by one. And also, Jason is not in this movie. He's not in this until the very end. The one who's killing everybody is his mother, played by Betsy Palmer. It was a great movie, but we got better. Number 4, Friday the 13th, Part 2. This is the first movie where Jason is a killer, and not his mother. Even though his mother does show up in this movie, but as a head. Not much to say about this movie, so I'm done. Number 3, Friday the 13th, Part 3. This is the movie where Jason gets his hockey mask. And the Jason, we all know and fear, is complete. What really took this movie to the awesome level is the 3D. Now I'm not talking about that crappy 3D we see today. What I like to call crap D. I'm talking about the, the 80s, 90s 3D, which is awesome and still awesome. Number 2, Friday the 13th, the 2009 remake. This remake is more like a three movie remake. It takes part 1, part 2, and part 3 and rolls together for one awesome movie. Even though this is number 2, there's not much to say about it. Cause it's just so awesome, there's not much to pick apart. And that's why it's number 2. Number 1, Freddy vs. Jason. This movie is just pure awesomeness. At first when I thought it, I thought it was going to be stupid, but after watching it, I loved it. It's a perfect combination of gore and suspense. Also, I love the Nightmare on the Elf Street series. I have all of them, even that crap fresh remake. With the combination of the two greatest horror movies icons ever, this is why Freddy vs. Jason is a number one 
on the Friday the 13th Top 12. My own email show supports Friday the 13th. Go buy the collector's pack.